face, they hit off the hosel, commonly known as a shank. There's three things that cause you to shank, and that's it. Number one, when you address the golf ball, you're standing too close to the golf ball. Something's gotten closer, which will put the hit on the hosel. Number two, is when you make your swing, at some point, your body's getting out towards the golf ball, whether you're turning into it or your knees are moving into the shot. That would cause the club to swing out as well. Number three is that at some point the club is swinging out too far. Usually it's preceded by the club swinging in too much and then the club swings out too much. Now you could have a combination of those three, but it's one of those three, three things that's causing you to hit on the hosel. What I have students do is I have them practice with an object to the side of the golf ball. I put a basket here, something that's non-evasive. If you hit it, it doesn't make a lot of noise. It doesn't hurt your club or damage you, but it tells you where you don't want to go. So the goal on this shot would be just to make sure that you miss the basket. If you miss the basket, you can go somewhere in the club face, and that means it helps secure your shank. So in review, Make sure that you're not too close to the golf ball, you haven't had your body move out to the golf ball, or you haven't swung the club out too far to the golf ball. Minimize those three things, and you'll get the ball off the hosel and on the club face.